BCAAs are one of the most widely used supplements across the planet, right next to protein powder and pre-workouts. But the question is, what are they and do you even need them? BCAA stand for branch chain amino acids. Branch chain amino acids are amino acids that are classified as having an aliphatic side chain with a branch. I'm not gonna get into that, you can Google that if you want, but three of these branch chain amino acids are classified as proteinogenic, and those are isoleucine, leucine, and valine. These are the branch chains that you're gonna find in any powder uh, that you find, whether you get it at Target, Amazon, GNC, any BCAA supplement that you get is gonna have those three amino acids in it. Your body does produce these branched chain amino acids by themselves through the food that you eat because it needs to. It promotes protein synthesis, it metabolizes glucose, it does all these wonderful things for your body, but are you losing out on muscle gains by not taking a powder? Buying BCAAs can help but there's something that you have to do first. Before you go going to the store and buying a bottle of it, you need to know this first. I'm gonna use these generic Jenga blocks for the example. So, no matter what supplement you use, it all centers around these three things. Your sleep, your food, and your workouts. Everything is based on these three things. Everything else here is supplements, it's hippie food and organic blah blah blah. It's everything else, whatever you can think of, besides your sleep, your workouts, and the food. The food is probably the most important. No matter what you have here, whatever supplements you take, if your sleep is bad, and your workouts are bad, and you're eating boo-boo food, what happens oh. is everything falls. So it doesn't matter if you're taking BCAAs if your diet isn't the way it's supposed to be. So before you go out dropping money on a supplement stack, I would strongly suggest that you focus on those three things first, and then the BCAAs can kind of help you with that protein synthesis, prevent you from breaking muscle down as fast, help in the building process. But if the food isn't there, the sleep's not there, the workout isn't there, then it's not really gonna do anything. So despite what supplement companies tell you, it's not a necessity. You can primarily get it from your food, but if you wanna take it, it's up to you. It's not gonna hurt you either way. It's a personal decision and you have to decide if it's something that you want to supplement or save your money and just do without.